YouTuber in terms of subscribers. Well, in this video, we're gonna look into it. So click subscribe for more interesting stuff like this because I don't know, I feel like this was gonna be fun to look at. So of course people right away would think Mr. Beast <laughs> is gonna be the next person to be uh, the most subscribed YouTuber because PewDiePie, he's not the most subscribed channel, but is the most subscribed YouTuber, right? Now, personally, I would argue that Mr. Beast already is bigger than PewDiePie if you just go based on his views. But in this video, we're just going to focus on subscribers here because it's a, it's a cooler number, I suppose, you know? <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to go through this top list and find all the actual YouTubers because I'm surprised how many of these big YouTubers I haven't actually heard of before. So uh, let's take a look into it. So if we just take a look at PewDiePie's social blade for a second here, you could see that his future projections show that he will reach 125 million subscribers in around two years from now. So that's kind of a long time away compared to Mr. Beast. He will reach 100 million subscribers in 2022, which is next year in April. So that's less than a year away. So obviously Mr. Beast is gonna <laughs> reach 100 million subscribers very soon and definitely surpass PewDiePie very quickly. But let's look at some other big YouTubers. Dream. This one, is obviously a huge channel right now, 23 million subscribers. If you look at his uh, social blade, you can see he is projected to hit 100 million subscribers in 2025. So he is growing slower than Mr. Beast is, but then again, things can obviously change over time and stuff. Uh, you know, Dream could publish a huge banger video <laughs> or something, I guess. And you know, it's even possible that Mr. Beast has his, uh, I guess views go down, I, that could be a possibility, but we're just looking at current rates, right? So then next we go on to Markiplier. So this guy, huge YouTuber, 30 million subscribers. Uh, I chose him to be in this video because he's so huge. If we look at his future projections, is he's not really growing at the same rate as the other two. So I don't think we can uh, say he will be the next biggest YouTuber, you know? <laughs> if you just look at this alone, 40 million subscribers in two years. So yeah, I would chop that one off the block here. Next up, Logan Paul, 20 million subscribers. You know, the Paul brothers, pretty uh, interesting people. <laughs> uh, if we look here though, he's projected to reach 25 million subscribers in 2023. So still not as much growth as Mr. Beast. He still holds the top number. If we look at Jacksepticeye, pretty much the same amount of subscribers as Markiplier here. He's growing kind of more steadily, I would say, and it's projected to reach 40 million subscribers in 2025. So still, Mr. Beast is the biggest here. And then this is the second most subscribed YouTuber ever. Dude, perfect. They're sort of a group of YouTubers, I guess, because uh, there's a whole team behind them all. Uh, but I, you know, I feel like they should be in this sort of uh, video because they're not a corporation or anything. They're just YouTubers, you know? They do a bunch of sports stuff. And if you look here, they are projected to reach 75 million subscribers in 2025. So they are actually growing quite a lot faster than I would have thought. I would say they're growing almost at the rate that Dream is right now, which is definitely really cool to think about. Like, I don't watch Dude Perfect at all, but uh, you know, they are a huge channel, it's cool. Okay, so next up is someone on Social Blade. We have Juga German. This is the third most subscribed YouTuber that I could find, and I've never heard of him. Uh, I suppose they're a channel in Germany, right? If we just go based off the name with German in it. Uh, but if you look at the videos, they are a YouTuber. Uh, but obviously the reason why I never heard of it is because I don't speak German, so I wouldn't get recommended their videos. But it is cool that they will reach 50 million subscribers next, or two years from now, okay. So yeah, in two years from now, they will reach 50 million, so not as much growth as any of the other ones we looked at here. Next up is the next most subscribed YouTuber, Winder Sunez or something. <laughs> Winder S, oh, whatever, you know what, I just read it. <laughs> uh, but uh, this person is, um, I mean, I think they're a YouTuber. If you just look at some of these videos here, they seem to be uploading a mixture of vlogs as well as some professional looking videos. So I would consider them a YouTuber, I guess, uh, and their future projections are 50 million in 2024. So not as much growth as any of the others, right? Next up, we have Hola Soy German, another German channel. Okay, um, with 42 million subscribers, no channel banner. That's kind of weird. I mean, I guess that doesn't matter, but <laughs> okay. I'm just curious. Okay, they're not German, they're, huh, all right then. Now, if we look at their channel and the future projections, they're expected to reach 50 million in 2026. So, you know, definitely not as much as the others, of course. And then here we have this channel, Fern and Flu. Haven't heard of them either, uh, cause they're not in English, right? So this one's kind of cool. Uh, 
they will reach 100 million subscribers in 2024. So this one I'm actually really surprised by. They're like on par with Mr. Beast and Dream. Uh, <laughs> they're future projections are crazy here. Uh, Dream, again, Mr. Beast future projections show that in 300 days, he will reach 100 million subscribers, but this guy will reach it in 1,000 in 1,200 days. So like a bit more than Mr. Beast, but not by much, you know? I mean, maybe just a few more years, right? This is this is a crazy one because I've never heard of this channel and the fact that they're growing so much is kind of cool. Then we got uh, this person here with 42 million subscribers. Looking at their channel, they are in a different language that I can't read, so I don't know, but they are located in Brazil, so that's cool. Now they are expected to reach, oh boy, let's look at this, 60 million subscribers in 2026, so definitely not one of the ones uh, we're gonna be looking at here. Then finally, we got this person here, Vose Sabia or whatever, I don't know, uh, seem to be YouTubers which is cool. And they're located in Brazil as well. And of course their future projections show 60 million subscribers in 2025. So, you know, not as much, right? So there are only a few people here that I would say are gonna be the next most subscribed YouTuber in the world. We got Mr. Beast, of course. We got Dream, Dude Perfect. And then we got Fernan Flu, Fernand Flu. Yeah, so these five channels, if I had to narrow it down, I would say Mr. Beast definitely will be the most subscribed YouTuber <laughs> coming up in a year. But then of course, you know, things can happen. People could uh, blow up and stuff. So Dream is also another possible one as well as this person and Dude Perfect. But yeah, I would say Mr. Beast is probably the most likely here. So yeah, PewDiePie being dethroned by Mr. Beast, it will be interesting. Mr. Beast versus PewDiePie. It'll uh, be interesting to see how that goes. You know, two big YouTubers fight it out. <laughs> two awesome YouTubers as well. But who knows, because something could happen and maybe another YouTuber will blow up that we haven't even heard of yet. Maybe it'll be me. Go subscribe. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. <laughs> um, if you enjoyed this and want to see more, click subscribe, and that's it for me, and of course, fly up. Who will be the next biggest YouTuber? If you look on Social Blade, you could see that the top YouTubers here, we got T-Series and Cocomelon and PewDiePie, but most of these aren't YouTubers, right? For example, T-Series, they're a company. Cocomelon is a kid's channel. Five Minute Crafts, there's no actual, like, individual behind it that we can really see. It's all just a bunch of crafts and crap. And then Set India is yet another company just like T-Series. So these guys aren't YouTubers, but who is a YouTuber is PewDiePie. And he is the top YouTuber on the platform right now, but who will be the next biggest YouTuber in terms of subscribers? Well, in this video, we're gonna look into it. So click subscribe for more interesting stuff like this, cause I don't know, I feel like this was gonna be fun to look at. So of course people right away would think Mr. Beast <laughs> is gonna be the next person to be uh, the most subscribed YouTuber because PewDiePie, he's not the most subscribed channel, but is the most subscribed YouTuber, right? Now, personally, I would argue that Mr. Beast already is bigger than PewDiePie if you just go based on his views. But in this video, we're just gonna focus on subscribers here because it's a, it's a cooler number, I suppose, you know? <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through this top list and find all the actual YouTubers because I'm surprised how many of these big YouTubers I haven't actually heard of before. So uh, let's take a look into it. So if we just take a look at PewDiePie's social play for a second here, you could see that his future projection show that he will reach 125 million subscribers in around two years from now. So that's kind of a long time away compared to Mr. Beast. He will reach 100 million subscribers in 2022, which is next year in April. So that's less than a year away. So obviously Mr. Beast is gonna <laughs> reach 100 million subscribers very soon and definitely surpass PewDiePie very quickly. But let's look at some other big YouTubers. Dream. This one, 